Hello and welcome back to Wild of Space Gaming. Um, after a couple of weeks break due to people being on holiday, not looking Ian. at anybody in particular. I didn't say that. Ian. <laughs> I didn't say that. It's Ian. Okay, yeah. Please, it's Ian. Yeah, 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 I see. Um, we're back to um, Legend of the Five Rings. Um, the ball returns with the story of um, how a minor clan is being reformed. Um, so we'll start in the order I've got you on my screen to introduce yourselves and then introduce your character quickly. Um, we're going to start with the always on holiday, Ian. I, uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'm Ian. I play uh, Akihiro. Um, sorry, I play, no, I am. Yeah, I play Akihiro, who is yeah. the uh, the swordsman yeah. of the party, um, yeah. as opposed to the peacock. Um, yeah. Bit of a lonely soul, but hey. It is go. what it is. And B. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't realise I was going to come up so soon. Yeah. Uh, I'm B. I play uh, High Chi Shao Fan, uh, one of the Sagenja. Yeah. Well, that's it. Uh, Mr. Kyle. Hi, I'm Kyle. I play Ryotaro, the archer and hunter. Um, Andy. Hi, I'm Andy. I play Takahiro. Um, uh, the better swordsman and sometimes people. <laughs> Alistair's all over again. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's Mr. always Ken. Andy. <laughs> it is always Andy. Yeah. Mr. Ken. Hi, right, um, can I play Takahashi, the other Shigenja, who's also the um, head of the newly formed Boar Shigenja School? And finally, Ben. Hi, I'm Ben. I play Haichi Haiji. Uh, who is a former dragon Togashi order tattooed monk. And as we left off, um, it is actually Heishi's uh, turn in combat. You if you had remembered um, that the um, <clears throat> you were visiting um, a small village of in the Crablands when they got word that there was a small group of Yobanjin uh, bandits um, uh, they've broken off the main force of your engine and we're making towards the village yourselves and uh, decided to aid by going out and defending the village by in aggressive defense in other words you went out to kick people's ass instead of uh, cowering behind the walls <clears throat> Um, you did fairly well, and so much so with the defences and the spell users that the Yobanjin, one of them, cast a um, huge ball of fog surrounding themselves, um, which is this red circle up here. Um, <clears throat> of Two of them had actually made it into the line um, and attacking you with Akihiro and Takahiro ending up um, killing one of the attackers. And then we go to a turn now. Takahiro killed him. Hey, I'm the GM. Yeah, we killed one each, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there two listen, dead? I, I thought there's only one dead. There's, there's only one dead at the minute. The other one is st still standing. But you, you had killed one earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the one that's still standing is in front of Heiji. But I have to be fair, I have well, to give well, everybody... Is it in fact here? It is. I crossed off the wrong person. You. I apologise. I've had to shrink the screen, you see. So, uh, just to be able to get everybody on onto the same page. In that case... I'm just confused. Yeah. No, it's fine. One in front of Heiji. Let me just double check. Uh, I can hear There him. is one in front of Heiji. Yeah. I'm, uh, Heiji's in a tree. Heiji's up in the tree. I apologize. Where is Akihiro? Akihiro's there. Yeah. And Heiji. He's there. Is there. Yeah. And. Right. Okay. So that's the one dead. And that is all, what, the one dead. And that is fine. So that one did die as well. I apologize. I distinctly remember decapitated him at the end yeah. of the last session. I, I apologise. Maybe we have two killed one each, then. Yes, you have killed one each. 
Uh, and yours may have been a flashier kill, but we won't mention that at all. So, no. <laughs> so, uh, that is me. That's me making a mistake and not marking them off. I apologise. So it is Hazy's turn. Uh, there is no immediate threats in front of anyone, but there is a ball of fog just uh, above you, up here. Yeah. Um. Okay, I think Hagee's wow. decided that climbing into a tree and being a bright Christmas tree light was a terribly bad idea, given the arrow sticking out of his um, his chest at the moment. So, yeah. Um, I think he's gonna uh, no longer um, have his volcano tattoo active, and he's instead gonna do his spider climb tattoo and go along that. Cliff, is that a, uh, that's like a cliff? Face. Yeah, it's it's like a, a small yeah. ravine cliff. It's probably around about twenty feet tall. Um, it does start to bend off around about here-ish okay. and open up. But it's going up, not down from us. Is that right? Yes, oh. yes, that's correct. Okay. So I could go from the tree onto the onto the cliff and spider along. Absolutely. There. Do you have to sure. do anything to activate your tattoos? I thought you had to make a roll. No, uh, tattoos can be uh, active automatically. It's just that you can only have one active at a time. I just have to go, Power Rangers, go! Yeah. <laughs> and disappear off the screen. <laughs> so, Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. Um, if you remember, this is a bit more theatre of the mind, so with movement and stuff. Um, okay. So, you, basically, the rule of thumb is don't take the mic. Um, okay. And if you want to go like all the way into the fog cloud and see what's in the fog cloud. You can, but you won't be able to do anything else apart from run headlong into the fog tower. Okay. Can I come up to where it bends? Oops. Yeah. Well, moving the... There-ish. I'm handing the map instead of moving the character. Oh, no. It's like the right little thingy. So, so I could come up to there Irish, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll put it. Yeah, and can I, um, can I use my life sensey one without falling off the side of the cliff, or or not? Um, I'd say that you would have perched somewhere. Uh, so sorry, you, you won't fall off the side, so you can do your life sense. Um, you can just. I'd say yeah, you can just about. You think there's one about here-ish. Okay. Mm, not there's any way I can really get that. I couldn't do anything to get to them this turn, though, right? No, not and to be able to affect them. No, no. Okay. Um, I th not being lit up and not having any. It's it's like night time, right? Um, no, it's uh, it wasn't night time at all. It was, oh, uh, it was daytime. Time. Yeah, no. It was oh, still in... we we were in the middle of having a feast, and it was right at, right at the end. So dawn's coming up. So it is. Uh, yeah, so there is light, but it's not. It's more like a twilight than the. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, do I think I'm a big target, or am I relatively hidden? You, I'd say you'd be quite. You know, you could uh, tuck yourself into like a little crevice or behind. You know, okay. you don't think you're going to be is a there any, major. Like, stealth roll equivalent, or hide you roll can make stealth roll, roll if roll. Uh, you can make stealth if you like. Yeah. Am I you. not right that um, that's not a an honourable thing to be doing stealth? <laughs> if, if so, he if he gets seen doing it, but you know he's run off into the uh, into the dusk, into the dawn. Um, so it's up to him. I mean, I'm not hiding from you guys. I'm hiding from them. Yeah, he's hiding from the enemy, yeah. ready to ambush. And as you know. Uh, you know, the, there is the uh, Sun Tzu does exist in this world as well. Um, I think it's a slightly different name, but Sun Tzu's all up for ambushing people. So, an actual part of war, absolutely fine. Okay. But if you were sneaking That's... around doing nefarious stuff, like sneaking into somebody's uh, study or bedchamber to steal something, then yeah, then that would be dishonorable. Only if you get caught. Only if I get seen. Exactly. <clears throat> it's like the Spartans. It's only wrong if you get caught. Yeah, basically. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, right. So, what am I rolling? Uh, 
hide or a stealth or there something. is a stealth let me just double check what it is well, I am. stealth got it yeah low skills uh, yeah so I, do yeah. i just give that a yep. thing so are you trained sure in it got any... uh doesn't appear so but i do have something about low skills actually what have i got i've got like a special ability or something uh, one of your backgrounds, I believe. Yeah, something like that. Advantages, crafty. Uh, you are considered to have one rank in the skill instead because you are crafty. Okay. So you can roll it trained at Great. one. But have you, because uh, you haven't got any points in it, have you? No, I don't think so. Yeah, so put a, a one, just mark one into it for now. Roll it trained. Okay, so one emerald trained. Would you be trained? When you're untrained, you can rule stuff untrained. Eh, I'll take it trained. Yep. As far as you're concerned, okay. you're, you're, you're stealthy. Great. Okay. Until he gets uh, another error stuck. Thanks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Shaofan, you're up, and then after that is Ritaru. Okay. Uh, can I move to here? Uh, you would be going, let's say there's a good 15, 20 foot drop, something like that. About 15 foot drop um, along this wall bit. Okay. Uh, this bit. Okay. Yeah. Can I go. That again would be at the bottom. Yeah, so let me just mark it up. Okay, hang on. Instant. It's about okay. 60 foot we could move, isn't it? Um, it's your watering times 10. So this line where I'm doing, that's the top of the ridge. Yeah. Okay. okay, and then he goes down, um, down a bit. So watering times what? Times 10. But like I say, it's a bit more wafty, you know? Okay. That's why it's not set to squares. It's set to, Damn. like, points and stuff. So just... As long as you don't take the mick. That's that's literally that then. Yeah. That's crazy. It's, it's a big. Off. Yeah, it, it's a big battle map. Yeah. Um. Can't really do anything. Stay where I am. Hold actions. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Riataru. Alright. I'm continuing one of my school ranks is the arrow knows it the way. Yeah. I'd like to try and fire in and see if I can hit someone. Ooh, can you give me the wording of that, please? Um, it's just the flavorful title. The, um, a uh, Tsuchi must not aim, but simply allows the arrow to follow it, its own path. You gain a free raise on called shots. That's all it does, but it just sounds flavorful, so I'm just going to try. Okay. Right. Sure, give me... It's a hard shot, but I'm going to try it. Give me... Tell you what. Ping rough in the rough area where you think you should do... Uh, you should be aiming. I'm going with there. There. Okay. Just there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Give me a a, a roll. Um, let's see you do. No. Oh. Is it worth more? No, it's bow, isn't it? It's skill. And. Sixty-two. Sure, give me a damage roll. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, he he got lucky with where he placed the thing. It was just on top of somebody. So, Ooh. thirty-five. Okay, lovely. Why well, hear uh... a scream? <laughs> no, you hear nothing. <laughs> He's dead now. <laughs> Uh, find which one it is. Not that one. That one's 
That one, okay. That one, lovely. Uh, give me a roll, odds or evens. Roll me, uh, just roll me a d4, odds or evens. Even, evens, you're lucky. Um, odds, you're unlucky. Odds, oh, you're unlucky. Lucky. Cool. There is a scream, but it is the scream of a horse in pain. Oh, oh no. You bastard. Yep. Well, yep. I will shoot again <laughs> at Fox. I know there's something there. Okay. Because I can shoot twice. Yeah, yeah. Put yep. the horse down. Poor horse. Oh, I'd have to now. You just want it for dinner. That's your thing for now. <laughs> Not as great. I'll make it very good. Roll me a D ten. Sorry, roll me a D six. Yeah, and then um, you choose two numbers. If you roll either of those numbers, you've hit the person. Four and five. I'm going for. Roll, roll me a D six. Oh, three. So you hit the horse. Please roll damage again. <laughs> Oh, it looks like horses on the menu yes, for you. Got, we've got horse steaks for dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah. You could do a lot with horse, can't you? Can. Yeah. Oh, Just that's French. Where do we go? 38, 35. Okay, so that's 73. 73, that's good. That's good. Okay. You hear the, uh, there's another scream. And a thud. And then there's the third. Yep. And the rider breaks his neck. Oh, yeah. Um, that's, I'm going to say that's your two um, goals. Wait. Uh, else? Those on oh, damage rolls. That's me rolling it. Okay, the attack's there as well. Okay. How do I... I need to full Oh, no, that was, was just attacks. Ah, okay. Right. Apologies. Ah, yeah, I needed to expand the screen for the damage rolls, so this would be the first one. Okay. And then that's the second one. I thought they were extremely high. <laughs> uh, so, still 30 points of damage, though. Yeah. yeah. May not be a dead horse, but a very wounded horse now. Yeah. Okay, so I now know that I can roll all off one page. And yes, that's the end of my... What's, what's the Kiyotsu roll before the attack? Yeah, is... Kiyotsu is, is, the, um, is the actual uh, skill. It's the bow use. Kujutsu, yes, yeah, it's, it's bow. It's archery. But there's there's a Kiyotsu attack with a roll with emphasis, and then there's a trained attack with their willow leaf straight after. What's the difference? Yes, because I rolled... Uh, it's the same thing. I was rolling on the willow leaf thinking that that was the damage roll for the um, arrow. But it's not. That's not... Yeah. If I expanded oh, right. the page, it was a separate roll icon for that. So the Kaitsu is is the trained attack with what it's yeah. just called. Thing. So that's 30 points of damage. Yeah. Total, you've done. Cool. Uh, there is a thud. There is then uh, you can hear a horse screaming. Oh. Uh. Yeah. And you can hear some uh, some muffled shouts from the fog as well. Some kind of ranger you are. <laughs> to look after the animals. Jesus Christ. Uh, still have to hunt and eat them, so... <laughs> right, uh, anything else? No, that's pretty much all me for the minute. Cool. Hopefully uh, I'm uh, panicking a bit more, because I know I can still hit them. Yeah, you hear there is some... Um, there is some muffled shouts, and there is stuff happening. You can hear movement going on, um, and you can hear like the, the like horses like almost circling themselves in, uh, and people shouting. And uh, that's okay. that person's go. Uh, Takahashi. Oh me. Yes. I'll stop eating for a second. Actually, um, Takahashi might be eating. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. I didn't check the range on this. Oh, that's not a far. It's, uh... 
<clears throat> so by the light of the moon, right, reveals what, what's hidden. So all concealed objects, anything in that fog is going to be concealed, isn't it, effectively? It says I, area of effect, 20 foot radius. It I've got say a how far feeling. I've got a feeling that um, it has to be um, man-made stuff. Let me just double-check the wording on that. Just says all concealed objects within the area of effect appear slightly luminous objects to you. Yeah. Any non-magical concealed movement is revealed, including secret compartments, trap doors, concealed mm. weapons, etc. But it, I, I don't think it matters because unless unless you deem that it's within range, because normally you have a with like something that's got a twenty foot radius, it's got a range to it. I guess as it's radius, it's with radius of me. Yes. That's what I'm thinking because it's usually used for um, finding yeah. like assassins and traps. Yeah, and so, yeah. so, so it's creative uh, use. I tell you what, I'll tell you what because it, because it's nice creative use. Give me a spellcraft roll. Yeah, if I can cast it at a distance. Yeah, the uh, rays uh, uh, or, or something. Yeah, so yeah, give me a spellcraft roll because he's it's doing it on the fly. Yeah. Um, okay. That's a skill, isn't it? Yes. Skill, a spellcraft, and it's trained, isn't it? Um, I'd hope you're trained in spellcraft. <laughs> Venus for Genja. Did that come out? Yeah. Okay. Uh. 40. Sure, I'll allow you to do it. However, it's going to be quite an increase. Yeah, I'm going to say it's level 1, so that's usually 10. I'm going to say it's going to take a He's doing it, throwing it at a range. Okay, let's ask quite a range. Let's say target number um, 35 before you um and that includes oh. your fr if any uh if, so before you put oh, any raises. raises onto it huh? oh, raises yeah jesus christ because you fine. you're altering yeah. that's fine so yeah. what 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 do i do to it so just cast just basically put in there five raises yeah how do i do that <laughs> okay so i'll oh, do I no, at level six effectively Effectively, yeah. And then click cast. Yeah. I think or so. Or would I give a flat bonus of... Well, oh, I don't know. Would I cast it at level 6, I guess? Which... Yeah, I just cast it at level 6. And I'll try and show, just roll and see what happens. Yeah, let's, yeah, roll and see what happens. Level 6. 35. <laughs> Just about to scrape it. Okay, put in there, uh, ping where you want it to be. Well, I think it's going to be central, isn't it? So, uh, in fact, it's um, to be fair, it probably would make sense to do it in a uh, 20 foot radius, so it'd be 40 yeah. foot. So, yeah. sort of from the front end of my bit, wouldn't it? So, there. So, so, so I ping, ping it there. Oh, I yeah. know. How do I ping it? There, yeah. Sort of there. Yeah. Which is 20 foot in from the edge, this, from the edge that I can see of the cloud. So it'll be kind of covering the, the front quadrant. Yeah. Okay. Like. Cool. No worries. Uh, da, 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 da. Only I get to see those. It lasts, lasts a minute. Yeah. Uh, you. Okay, with that, you see a silvery outline. Um, well, the edges of a silvery outline, just about on the far side of um, of your spell, literally okay. just here. Can't see that. No, I say I'm on the wrong wrong layer. That's why. Literally just there. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no other, mo no other hidden things in that area. Nope. Okay, no, because cool. you're right on the edge of um, 
of right. your thing. Yeah, that's cool. It's perfect. As long as he stays in the stays in the air. <laughs> yeah. If anything comes into that, that lasts a minute. How long's around? Six seconds, is it, or is it ten seconds? Six seconds. So it's so it's so it's going to last ten rounds. No, so no, it's six, no, six seconds. So it's ten rounds. It says ten seconds or six rounds. There you go. Six rounds. Cool. Yeah. So if if something moves into that in that time, I'll um, spot. It. You know what? It's very creative use of the spell. It's usually if it's yeah, I'll say sod it. Yeah, I'll allow it. Be whilst they whilst the fogs up. Yeah, I'll allow it. Yeah. yeah. It's it's creative use of the spell, so yeah. Right. Um that's, that's me, you then. Okay, cool. And it's them. Oh get them off. So he did it the right level. He's going to go up there. Um, Takahashi, that's silhouette you see. Yeah. Fades out. Okay. Okay. Um, as the as thing is moved. Out, as it moves out of the area of the effect. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then, right, can this... Uh, wrong level... He's going to go up this way. Yep, it did move with him. Cool. Uh, somebody is now revealed, but then he dives straight into the. Uh, he, somebody is revealed, but then he dives straight back in, so you don't really get a chance to do anything. Uh, unless, actually, um, sorry, apologies. Um, let's put you on the token layer. Um, B, as you were holding uh, your action, somebody does appear from the edge of the fog cloud as it's moved away from you. Did you want to do anything? Uh, there is a much this guy, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm too out of range for everything. Okay, cool. In that case, uh, oh wait a minute, wrong layer. Right, and he's going to run straight back in to the fog cloud, and then bump that way, and then. That person is going to go that way. And then Akihiro. You've seen the fog clouds. Um, you've seen the fog cloud go, uh, like move. And yep. you've, yeah. And you've seen people, you know, and you've seen pe somebody dive back into the fog cloud. Um, they are moving fast. Okay. I'm going to move forward. I think that's about. Well, I get to. I'm going to shout. Yeah. Um, only a coward hides in battle, and only a fool blinds himself. Come on, show us your northern honour if you have any. You just hear the 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 muffled cry of uh, a, a horse, um, and you um, and people shouting at each other in a different language. So, does anybody wish to do anything else? Or are you going to let these guys flee? That's Ooh, we've got a lot of options. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm going to take you back to the village then. So, you let these uh, this fog cloud flee. You can see, if you go and ch try and track... Um, it's an easy thing to track this sheer number of horses. Um, and you've also gained a couple of horses as well. Yeah, so the people before, that, before that we leave killed. this battle site, yeah. um, I'm not looting bodies as such, but what are these two who are dead armed with? Oh, so their swords are... You haven't seen these swords. They're, they are about the same length as yours, um, but they are... We've got a uh, a single uh, the single handed, not 
two-handed. And along the spine of the blade, there is a number of rings piercing it. And these rings rattle um, when you kick the sword. They are loose. Okay. Um, I shall take um, the sword of the man I killed as a trophy. Yep. No problem. Uh, you can also claim the two horses, uh, the two ponies as well. Um, they haven't gone off. Um, Ritaro, when you if you go to track these people, it's easy to track them. Anybody could follow them, and you can see um, blood from which is different color to um, to humans' blood, but it is obviously it's an animal's blood, so you can assume it's the horse that you hit. Um, but they are all going, and you can see the for about a minute this fog cloud uh, goes off. Um, so is that the only thing you wanted to do before going back to the village? I've got recollection that he someone blew a whistle from their party, uh, before he cast the, the, the cloud was cast. So I think we just need to hang about a bit just in case. So if it comes back. Yeah. But if it that, does, yeah. I mean, you have heard that whistle blast once or twice, but apart from that first time, it's, it's, there's no frequency to it at all. Okay. Weren't, yeah. they, um, weren't they just the scouts of the army? Well, what you remember from the other people is that these pe- uh, yeah. these had split off from the group. There's only 20 in the group all told. Um, and this had eight of them in it. Um, you saw eight people before the uh, the fog cloud came in. Um, yeah. You've killed two, so obviously the other six have fled. There was only about twenty that was originally um, said about. So it wasn't an army; it, it was like oh, a okay. patrolling force. Yep. Shoot. I'll take you back to the. Do we assume that the other twelve or so went to the village? Oh, well, they're all. They're all um, you knew what that um, when the person came back to the village to report it, he said that the uh, the people chasing him had broken away from the main group. Right, which was this lot. Which was this lot? Yeah, that you've just. Um, so they're going to go off. back and rejoin the main lot and then get their uh, morale boosted and come back with the rest of them. Do we want to stay here and fight them or do we go back to the village to fight? Aren't there lots of different ways to the village? Yeah, the, the, so the three main entrance uh, routes to the village have been um, trapped. Um, some of them um, had been hit by those traps some had managed got ahead so you don't know how many is left in that out of that original 20 apart from the six you've seen so the risk is that if we stay where we've just had the battle they could be on other paths to get to the village and we could be uninvolved so i think having blunted their advance down this route i think we should go back to the village and report in does that that's, that's my opinion does, does that, how's that sound to everyone else makes sense to me makes sense okay so uh you head back to to the village absolutely nice and easy where is the yeah uh you head back oh, to the yeah, village the village oh you were like an hour away at most you were, you were, you, we start that far out. We walked, um, didn't we? Did we bring our ponies? You UK went on your ponies, and okay. you've gained two ponies as well. So, Who's keeping track of that because we'll forget that. Well, you can either claim them or you can leave them at the village, it's up to you. So, when you make the decision, let us know. Okay, okay. um, when you get back to the village, you are uh, welcomed back straight away and. Um, the two Sugenja come up to you and go, does anyone hurt? Is everyone fine? Does anyone need any healing? 
I think I escaped without being wounded, but let me just check. I don't think anybody got hurt, did they? I have I no thought Heidi did. Or did we some... Yeah, I got, got shot with an arrow. Yeah. Um, didn't it just burn up on impact on him, though? Yeah, so he still got hit, still took damage, but... Yeah, IG it, needs healing. Yeah. So uh, they lead you back to the uh, the hospital, um, go through the the usual um, cleansing, and then saying the prayers to heal you. So you can cast... Uh, so you are now fully healed again. <laughs> so... Um, the hetman uh, comes up to uh, your group, Man Seiji, and goes... So, you defeated them. Um, how many dead do we have to bury? Well, burn. Are we supposed to have brought their bodies back? No, we can go out and burn them where they, where they stand. Um, you are not Etta um, to be touching dead bodies. So... We will go out and we will make sure that they are burned where they where they lie. How many do we have to burn? It was two we killed, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Two. And yet you stand here. What happened to the rest of them? They fled. They fled. Ooh. Okay, that's good. How many were there? Eight, yeah, about eight, and the force of f the five of you scared them off. Six of us, six of you. Apologies, I forgot about the one who's gone to be treated. Um, his six off killed two. Okay, that's good. That's good. They're not likely. Hmm. We'll have to send some scouts out. Um, but if the past is anything to go by, depending on how many were still left when those six mess up with them, it's a toss up if they can actually if they will actually come back uh, again or not. Uh, would you be happy to stay an extra couple of days? Just to be on the safe side. We'll send some scouts out. We'll burn the bodies where they lay. And we'll check and we'll follow the tracks. Would you be happy sure to stay or do you... It, it, it's not so big of an issue, I think, that uh, the, we have... Do we have anything pressing to get back to? Sort of address everybody else. No more pressing than making sure this place is safe. And secure. Something um, good and neighbourly to do. Um, though I, uh, I, I can't speak for the the rest of uh, uh, my my house here, but um, I I would ask something in return if uh, your Segendra are able to grant it to us in, in return for us to stay these extra days to help. I'm sure they they'll be able to help if possible. It depends on Gendron. what you what you wish. Yeah. Spell. Sorry, say this. Is Tom saying, what was that? The spell. Prayer to the Kami. Oh, One that sorry, I know you're, your you're... Gendron knows. Right, that would be something to speak to them about. Yes, sorry, I, I, I don't know exactly what they know, but apart from general healing and and warnings, but they may know other stuff that you speak to them about before. So, um, this should, should be not a problem. Um, go rest. Um, we've sent people out to the other uh, points to find out what happens there and then they should be hopefully they will be returning within the next hour or they have, will not be returning 
Do you have much use of ponies? Ponies are always good for uh, for the scouts to go out on uh, to get to return quickly, and they do fall occasionally. I think so. We, I think we should leave these two ponies with the village. Definitely. Yeah. I'll carry my one at a time. So yeah. Um. Thank you for the gift. It has been. It will be noted that you've done this. Um, please rest. Um, we've got people on the wall. We've got people out. So hopefully, in, within the next hour, we'll actually have have some more news. So uh, let's go quickly over to uh, Shalfan. You wanted to have a word with the two Sugenja. Um, yeah. When you go into um, the hospital, you'll find that they've finished up um, saying their prayers over Heiji, and they've uh, just wrapped his body up in bandages, um, and they're just cleaning their hands. Okay. Um, I'll let them know that um, what was discussed, that we're staying a few extra days, um, and that uh, we'll be um, staying on on request that uh, I are, I could ask if they're able to, um, which I know they are because they mentioned a spell that they had when we first greeted them, uh, which would be beneficial to all of us if it was shared to uh, myself and um, Taki or other Sagenja. Um, and that spell is the request to Nohata Nakami, which is the, um, I believe it's that one, or very similar. Um, it's the messaging spell. Um, yeah. The one that can send a message uh, directly to a recipient on the air kami. Um, yeah. And I'll say to I'll say to them this would benefit us. Um, and you, we could let you know of news from where we are, seeing as we are closer to the uh, to the trade trading cities. Um, and should there be any issues that you find are heading our way north northward, hmm. uh, you could let us know via spell. Ah, uh, we have uh, no problem doing do this, but we have no problem doing this. However, you will have to make a copy of it. So you can't just, you know, a copy of it for yourself. Um, we are here for a new, next time. couple of days, so. Exactly. You are, you are welcome to, it is not a secret spell. It is not one that we, that should not be um, revealed to other uh, people. So by all means, as it a, a, uh, as a thank with. you. I just, uh, I never had my own copy of it. My, um, uh, my Sagenja teacher, Sensei. Uh, Sensei, let me use it once, but uh, I could only take a certain amount of mm. prayer scrolls with me when I left her tutelage. Mm -hmm. that's, that's understandable. Um, by all means, um, you can, we'll, uh, in the more, when there is more lights, um, we'll. Uh, fetch the scroll out and you can uh, make a copy of it. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, does anybody want to do anything else within the next hour? <clears throat> yeah. Um, anything? Akihiro is going to check his saws, make sure that there's no nicks for the bones he's cleaved uh, in the fight. Um, and obviously polish anything or sharpen anything out if he can. Yep. I'm going to speak to absolutely. Shalfan, which I'm which I'm chatting to her on message anyway, but I'm going to speak. Oh, yeah, to yeah, her. which is, was I was mid message there, but that's um, all right. It's all good. I'm mid just just going to spend some time chatting to Shalfan over the next hour, I guess. Yep. Uh, is this the morning routine? No worries. And also, what that message that I just sent you. Okay. I will reply yeah. to that then. Hey, okay, as a GM, 
I don't like this. I get nervous when you no, no, do no, secret it's messages. Nothing, it's nothing. It's okay. not, no. Yeah. Even if you see it's nothing, yeah. I still get. It's something, Tom. Yeah, it's something sure. big. Sure. It's something big, yeah. mate. Yeah, it's something. There's going to yeah. be an ambush, and we're going to kill all your major NPCs. <laughs> Huge. It will derail the, derail the whole campaign. Yeah. Absolutely. It's no problem. Um, so you can't. For man. the next hour, you basically. <laughs> so, um, you fill your uh, your time doing like the, the pottering, what um, checking everything. Now. Sorry, what's, what's so it's, it's probably around about. I would probably say around about seven in the morning now. Okay. Have um, um, you know? So the lights has come up. What? How? When do when do prayer slots refresh? Um. Usually after a night's sleep. Right. Yep. Uh, it's, it's, it's usually after that. So um, because it was the evening into the morning, um, you basically... You've spent the slots that you spent for the day. So everything that you spent so far, they're, they're not going to refresh until... Because we're uh, not going to refresh until we sleep again tonight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You need to start. So, and you are obviously you are tired as well. So yeah. yeah. Um, we haven't all night. After about after about an hour and a half or so of uh, you know of that readiness, um, keeping a keeping a slight edge, um, you start to appreciate how tiring it is for these people who are living at that level of readiness on a constant. Uh, constantly, so you your appreciation for uh, the inhabitants of uh, Village of Broken Dreams has just risen up that little bit more. Um, you haven't had to live under this threat of uh, assault for so long. Um, but after about the hour and a half. Uh, uh, you do see a um, a single um, rider coming back at quite a leisurely pl- le- leisurely pace, um, and actually uh, rides up. Um, it's recognised almost instantly, um, and as he's coming up to the southern gates, he actually waves and shouts, "All clear! They've gone." Nothing happens. We're all good. Stand down. And you can feel there's a slight lessening of the that tension back to how it was when you first arrived. Um, and as this rider co- uh, comes in, he's actually greeted, greeted by the hetman. And are you going up to them as well? Or are you just letting him speak to the I'll, hetman? No, I'll certainly be loitering where I can... Listen to the conversation. Yeah. Likewise. Yeah. Um, you, the, the rider bends down, uh, still on the horse, um, and bends down and just says, the, uh, we stopped them. The traps stopped them. Um, we only had to set two off. Plus, with the, uh, with the archers, we managed to chase them off. This was not a big big force there's about 10 or so of them and then we thought we were in trouble when a group uh came charging around five horses one of them had two people on it they came up behind blew a whistle like a a few notes on, on a whistle and those attacking us turned and rode off so we're good. It's that whistle again. It is some form. Of, it's just a form of signal whistle. It's just a way of giving commands at distance. It's just a fairly standard military tactic. We tend to use um, uh, the uh, flags. The ha- the ha- and stuff. Yeah, the headman turns and says, "Absolutely, yep." It's an easy way of getting people's attention over the noise of the horses and battle. So, 
but that's actually good. That means that they're not going to be coming back anytime soon. What you did, plus what our own people have done, this was obviously just a random group. It wasn't like a the start of anything. If it was, they would have come back, and they would have come back larger. They would not have. What is their objective? Are they just scouting? Are they raiding? Would they would they would they try to sack the village and take valuables of some kind? Yeah, they 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 they're raiders. They're raiders. They we've never seen them in any force larger than you know thirty or forty. Um, they're definitely raiders. They're not a an invading force. Um, I don't think the tribes are that organised, to be honest with you. If they ever do organise, we could be in trouble. So and there's different tribes of them? There's at least three that we know of. What are these tribes called? I couldn't tell you their names. I just recognise there's uh, one uses a, a horse's mane as their symbol. One uses... Um, Eagle, uh, eagle wings as their symbol, and uh, the other uses wolf pelt. We don't deal with them apart from killing them. Sorry, horse. We don't know. Horse mane. What was the second one? Horse mane, eagle wing, and wolf's head. Well, so wolf's pelt. So and you don't you what you what did you say sorry? There could be more tribes if there is um then we don't know their numbers if I have a fear that if the tribes ever got together and organized they would quite happily ride into the Empire. Well, I'm sure when they try such a thing, they would take such horrendous casualties that they would be uh, repulsed very rapidly. You would hope so. Oh, I'm, I'm I... certain. My faith, certain... Is not, my faith is not shaken by any fear. Uh, that is a common misconception of Crane, who have not seen full battle as yet. Uh, I look very affronted by that. Yeah, and he's got a slight smirk on his face, but he nods his head to you. I'll give the headband a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is not it is not meant as offence, but it is merely a observation of people who have not um taken part in large battles look forward to large battles. I, uh, I, I hope one day to, to prove my valour in a battle. And I hope that you survive a battle. That's all I hope for you. But we've all had a long night. We have people who haven't gone out. They'll keep an eye out. However, if you wish to sleep, please sleep. Um, if you wish to do anything else, Look up, look after yourself, have a bath, um, and just we are for the next couple of days, you are our honored guests for what you have done. And I'm going to say that da -da -da -da, this house in the woods back here. This is the uh, communal bathhouse. Sorry, can you ping that again? I didn't see that. I'm on, uh, I'm on, maybe I'm on one layer. This one on the top. Okay. Uh -huh. you see that? Yep. Yep. Um, so that'll be the communal bathhouse. So, well, they've got like little stalls. That, yep. Um, next couple of days, anything in particular you want to do or you just want to do your standards? No, I want to um, offer uh, I want to get us all together with the Hetzman and offer um, a something else that we can do for the village um, that we don't want anything in return specifically other than um, 
advance warning and um, diplomatic relations with them. Um, right. Um, yep. And I'm going to offer the uh, ask them where their best uh, fields are for growing food and offer to bolster one of them. Okay, sure. Um, they lead you out to uh, one of the right, one of their um, paddies. Um, they've got paddies on one side. They've got like uh, small orchards on the other side of the road that you approached on. Um, so they'll mm. they'll take you to one of the paddies and go. This is this is the one that that regularly gives the best yield. Um, probably by about a good ten percent over the other ones. But we have to be careful with it. So obviously, we don't want to overburden the uh, the ground. Can I make a um, skill check? For sure. um, I've got some sort of agriculture. It's, ag it's law agriculture, I believe. Hmm. Yeah. Just to see what kind of um, as their, sh I guess, I I'll see a few bits of their agricultural land as I'm yeah. to, uh, take take them in. I just want to ascertain if it's going to be worth doing it on this rice paddy, or if this is or it's all pretty crap around here. Is it's all really hard and yeah, it's it's not the best land at all. Um, they 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 are reliant it. on. Um, yeah. irri um, irrigation, and they've got a series of like bamboo uh, pipes that are also looking quite old. So, fifteen, so uh, yeah, sure. So, um, the one that you, that they point out is the one that is given the best yields. Um, is the one that they've obviously spent the most time on. Um, if they spend the same amount of time, they've spent. Similar time on other fields. They haven't quite got got it right yet. Um, these field look, uh, fields look slightly newer. They don't seem to be as well bedded in. Okay. So it's up to you if you if, on which yeah. field you want to do it. Um, I'll do it on if, this one because this one sure. will, is the most developed, so it'll get the best benefit from yeah. the better. Give um, me a spell roll. Um, yeah, let me have a look. What is it? Bounty of the Earth. Yes. So, duration's one season slash permanent. How do you make it permanent? I can't remember. Uh, we, we, we put raises yeah. into it. Yeah, but I, I didn't put down how many... Uh, maybe it's on the chat that we had. Oh, because in the spell, yeah. you, you, you've edited it as a spell for me, haven't you? Yes. It's one raise per additional 10 foot radius, but it doesn't yes. say. I don't think we actually uh, talked about uh, making not. it permanent. You've Let's got say... one slash permanent in the description. Yeah. Where's, where's your check Let's from? Say that, uh, do you know what? I don't remember talking about it. So unless we you find it quickly uh but i think three raises would be enough one for each season i think that's but, probably what you said be, be, before that's yeah. uh, let's go with that i can't find it cool i'll yeah. put three raises in then yeah um can i can i be helping takahashi with this like be out watching him with it yes is there a way of oh, is there like a help action? yeah i've i've got a i've got a way to help it's more Ken, if uh, if Takahashi is happy for Shelfan to come along, very happy. I'll um, I'll actually um, be really Takahashi is actually really proud of this and uh, would try to show you how to do it. And um, uh, instead of sort of like performing it alongside him, but uh, she, she's just got to watch because Earth being her deficiency, um, yeah. she's not great in it. Uh, but before he starts performing the spell, um, she's going to dig around in her, um, I'm going to say she probably has a satchel or something that she carries yep. around for the day, um, and pulls out um, 
five spherical balls um, and takes one of them and hands it to you. Um, and these are the spheres that I found at the very beginning of this game all those years ago, if you yep. remember. Um, this one has the symbol of Earth on it, which is a free raise to Earth for today. Yep. Um, and she'll say for the for the spell, I want it back afterwards. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. So put uh, just put two raises into it then for your target number. Okay. But I don't need to put any. I don't need actually thinking about this with the rolls. I don't need to put any things in it for the casting do i because we just the target number number just goes up for the raises yes Isn't that's that right? right yeah I so but if if just putting higher. just putting the raises uh da, 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 no 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 yeah so just increase the uh target the level by two that's gonna be the easiest way of doing it yeah, what I'm saying, do you need to do that? Because it just rolls, uh, gives a roll, doesn't it? The level doesn't come into it. And That's true. Yeah. If you just do the, 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 the roll. It's based on the target number, isn't it? We just yeah, know what to the, the earth. target number is. So target number for that is 5 times 10, 2 is 15, is 20. Target number is 20, so yeah. put two raises into it. Target number 30. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, there we go. Um, is it, would it be wrong, like rule pushing and stuff? Would it be, um, to, wrong? Cause to do a water camis blessing first on myself because that what does that, that do? gives me a bonus to my perception skill oh no it's only perception with a truck school sorry ignore that it's perception okay oh, right. I don't try it. Anything else. oh right, i see it's perception based roles right okay yeah. so yeah that's fair yeah let's see if i've got anything else to boost my mental acuity to give me more role because it's not in a kind of rush here is it so you've got time to uh, exactly so let's do it underground Joking. oh hello what's going on roll 20's just disappeared of the map for uh, for me you guys still all got the map mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. I just not have no map, and I don't know why. I think the internet's being weird because a lot of the voices are delayed for me. Yeah, I noticed that earlier but with mine. A lot of people like talking over each other, and then yeah. there's sort of like pauses where you're hearing somebody else a minute right. later or whatever. Anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. I just check it. I saw one. I just lost it again. There we go. Mental quickness. The spellcraft intelligence. Is spellcraft intelligence? Yes, usually. But you're not making a spellcraft roll. You're just casting the spell. Yeah, but is that intelligence as well? No, that's uh, when you cast a spell. It's just your school rank plus oh, yeah. your ring, keeping your ring. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's just cast this. And Bount bounty of the earth. Let's see what happens. 33. Just about do it. 30, 30 wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because the target number was 30 because we you got the free rays and all the rest yeah. of it. So target number 30. Absolutely fine. So this uh, spell, there's a ripple that goes out from you over the uh, um, over the top of the earth and then down into the actual paddy. And you can see the water ripple as it's going away from you. Um, and you know, you just know 
that the earth carmies um, in the area are pleased and that they're going to ensure that um, this paddy is productive every year. Every season that you can produce, it will produce and it will produce um, a good quantity. That's what you've been doing. I have a quick question for Tiger Hero. Mm-hmm. Are you still doing your divination on a daily basis? Uh, yes. Fantastic. Can you give me a roll, please? Dramatic music. Dun. Yeah. Dun. Depending on what you roll, depends on the vision you get. And oh the, all the interpretation. Divination. Andy, don't fuck us. Yeah. 22. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, so, Andy. So, just to be clear, for B's benefit, that's not whether I get a, something, it's where I can actually understand what the hell it means. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, remind me how you do your divinations. Was it casting yarrow sticks? Oh, Was it... God. Hang on a sec. I haven't done this for several years as a player. Hang on a sec. Let me look at my... It was definitely intestines. I remember. No, it was not. <laughs> it definitely was. Sure, it's you know, completely not breaking the taboo by touching you know, unclean <laughs> <Yeah>. things. <laughs> mm-hmm. He does he it in secret. He's stabbing himself in the foot and there's the pain. As it brings forth the vision. <laughs> Uh, I, I would... honestly don't remember, and I don't have okay, anything no here. Okay, in that case... Um... Oh, hang on a sec. I might have something in my notes, but that's going to take ages to go through. Okay. Go through. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So don't worry about it. Okay. okay. Let's say for your divination kits, you're doing the... Um, you, sh- you, sh- you shake the sticks out of like a like a, a jar or a beaker or something. And the, and the ones that come out give you your divination. Um, usually, you'll get like a, a cryptic. This is what's going to happen in the you know all the uh, this is what's going to happen, and you got things like you know the black hair and so on. This time, though, it's slightly different. This time, you get home you get traitor redeemed say not traitor um enemy redeemed you get pain you get the smell of burnt flesh coming into your uh, nostrils and you also see You've only seen this a couple of times um, in the past, and it's usually you. You've seen the gleam of bone. The only time you've seen bone that gleams like this is when it was like a preserved skull of an enemy. Yep. So, you know, seriously. There are times where uh, the warriors will decapitate their foes, named heroes, and they will then present those heads for either honor recognition, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so that's the only t- time that the warriors will pick up people will pick up bodies that are etta. They then can be cleaned because it is an honorable way of getting it. You you see. Uh, you, you get this gleam which reminds you of the gleam of bone. And that's it with the 22. Okay. This is not as... Do I get a sense of urgency from it that this is an urgent thing that might prompt us to return back to... Um... The, the ball lands. Uh, 
Yeah. Yes. You don't get it like a timeline or anything. You just get this. This is going to happen. Oh, this is this is something that will happen, not something that has happened. Will happen. Right, okay. Um, then I shall... Um, when, when's this happened? Uh, you usually did them in the mornings. Yeah. Um, so this will be um, morning of day two after the attack. So how much longer are we supposed to be staying? It was either to, uh, you were leaving today or the, or the next day. Right, well, I shall gather um, my five companions after breakfast. Um, and um, uh, really, um, I have seen in the the sticks I cast that we have a need to return back to our home. Um, something is happening there. I'm a little confused as to exactly what it means. But I feel we must return. We have fulfilled the agreement we said to stay for for two extra days. And now I think we should return. Let's go. Has everyone finished everything they wish to do here? Uh, have we uh, managed to get the copy of that spell, Tom? Yes. Then I think we make haste uh, once you've finished breakfast. Oh, that may take a while. Take Ashley. <laughs> Garu, prepare some okay. food for Takahashi to eat on the journey as well. <laughs> I I'm finished. Uh, and the yeah. man goes running off to get yeah. ready. Garu will run along ahead of Takahashi's pony, <laughs> carrying yeah. food. So that he gets Takahashi Breakfast to Breakfast wraps. To, to, um, that won't get Takahashi moving faster. Okay. Nah. It's worth a try. <laughs> it was so worth a try. Okay. Um, Garu, you can go first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 There is a certain amount of etiquette that is involved in finishing one's meal. Oh, wow. I'm sure your horse is very willing for you to finish your meal. <laughs> what did I call I called it something last, last session of... You named your horse. Yeah, yeah, I did. The pony, I named it you in... Did. I can't I did. remember what it was. You're going to have to watch the... Uh, or something. Yeah, you're going to have to watch it back and find out what it is. But I'll say its name is more is more than used to carrying my weight. <laughs> Maybe we should take another one of those spare ponies with us. Yeah. <laughs> your pony's uh, feet are wider at the bottom. I'm sure it didn't start out like that. Spread out. <laughs> so, um, the journey back to uh, the boar's lair is pressed because I'm assuming you're, you're not going to be, take the leisurely pace you were doing beforehand. Nope. Ha however, it is still uneventful. And um, it takes you just a couple of days to get uh, get part uh, get over there um about a day quicker than when you were first uh, when you first went to the village of broken dreams when you get back um just to be clear where yeah. are we getting back i'm a little bit so we're getting back to um not the hidden boar part but the castle that we Shirohachi. Yeah, Shirohachi, the, the place where we yeah. fought the speakers. Yeah. Okay. That's where your, your home base is, as it were. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is where you've been staying for the last um, few, no, for the last year or so, uh, whilst it's being rebuilt. You still visit um, the, um, uh, the, uh, the 
excuse me, um, the hidden ball. But this is where you're mainly actually um, based, as it were. Yeah. Um, when you get back, um, you're greeted as normal um, and you're brought up to, uh, I'm assuming you, you you're brought up to the uh, the main keep, yep. Um, because I'm assuming you're not staying at your stopping at your houses, which are to the to uh, the bottom of this map where the actual uh, village is. Yep. Um, which if I show you quickly, do we go past the houses? Yes. So uh, let's go there. Yeah, there is there. Okay. So uh, this is the. I want to make sure he's not dead. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is the the keep and the and the village, you know, and it had um, it's more b built up again. How you know it's being there's still some outlaying buildings, but this it's still growing. Um, it's, when you a go, lot, there's a lot of hidden. There's, there's a fog of war on that. Oh, sorry. There's a still fog of war on that. I apologise. And some Let colour lines from. Roots we've yes. I thought that from when we. I think uh, did we fight, have a big fight here or something? You did. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Apologies. There you go. Hey. Hey. So uh, the red line is uh, the way that you came in. The green line was where the tracks were. Let me just see if I can and remove blue the is where drawing. We battle, I think. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, the green, sorry, just to quickly pick up on that thing you just said. Um, the green line was the tracks from the blood speakers, was that? Yes. Oh, okay, the tattered yeah. peak castle. Gotcha. Mer? Well, if it's from that side rather than that side, the only thing that way on the map is tattered peak's castle. Is it now? That's interesting. I, I mean, from our map. Yeah, which, which sure. one of the maps that we d don't make sense? Uh, yeah, true, 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 true. <laughs> Absolutely. For the assumption, the, the... yeah, we may test at our leisure. Yeah, absolutely. So did you say um, shattered peaks or tattered peaks? Tattered peaks, I think it says. No, shattered, shattered peaks castle. Okay, we never went there, did we? No, it there, was no. so we decided to go to the village of the broken dreams, which is obviously the thingy. But I just suddenly got an idea of our yeah, 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 yeah. Blood speakers were coming from that direction. Yeah, I think we should. That should be Sorry. our next. Once we figure out what's going on in the village here. Yeah, let's see what's happening here first. This, this might be more pressing. Yeah, yeah. Um. So obviously, you, you guys have been away for about. Um, it's probably been about two weeks now. Um, and one thing that you, um, when you do return, obviously you're shown to the, uh, your damyo, Heishi Chokai, um, and he sits there and goes, was it fruitful? Uh, it yes. was eventful. Yes, we, um, we met, um, some uh, a number of members of the crab and others who have joined who I think have joined the crab to fight um, uh, the sh Shadowland the creatures from the Shadowlands. Um, they are all all almost all people who have been affected um, by is it is it the taint is that what it's called yeah, yeah. by the taint yeah. and they. Um, uh, they seek to serve um, the Empire still by um, holding this particular village against the forces of the, of, of the Shadowlands. While we were there, we we were engaged by some Yobanjin, but um, they were rather pathetic as warriors. We killed a few, and the rest fled. Unfortunately, we had we were on foot, and they were on ponies so they escaped us and you made contact and she made friends with these people 
there was some discussion about Sigenja stuff that I didn't quite understand, and I'll then defer to Takashi and um, uh, Zafan. God, I can't remember the name. Um, to explain that. Terrible. Uh, just knowledge sharing mostly and um, uh, hel helping each other out. They're within range of a certain uh, communication spell um, that is, we have now been able to to acquire. Um, if you would, uh, if you would like a copy, I'm happy to to draw one out for you. It is blah blah blah, and I'll name the spell. I'm yeah. fairly sure it's the uh, it's the one with the the bird, but I, yeah. yeah. Um, um, it is how they manage to speak with their um. What is the name for the head of the the crab people? The the piece of their lord. <sighs> Oh, uh, it's just, they're still their daimyo. Um, is it still their daimyo? Okay. Yeah, da so, yeah, daimyo how... is just like ge generic. Every everyone who leads a clan or leads a family is a daimyo. Gotcha. Yeah. So they they um they are still under the purview of uh, daimyo. They're still crab, yeah. um, and therefore might have knowledge of the goings on, um, and also of any threats that might face us if they come past them, um, they could communicate that via this spell and vice versa if if we know of anything. I've forgotten this. Excellent. Is Haiji Choki, uh, uh, Daniel, he's a, a Sigenja, is he then? Yes. I had yeah. forgotten that. The Sigenja rule and Bushi rule. <laughs> Is there <laughs> has there been any reply to the letter that I sent, Tom? Uh, not as yet, no. No, it's, it's going to take it's going to take a little bit longer. There's no postal system, yeah. so yeah. Um, My lord, has anything occurred here while we've been away? Anything of import? I was just coming to that. Um, there was a incursion of a uh, small, I say small, of a bandit force uh, that had made its way through the Iconomori uh, and attacked the uh, one of the small villages um, below the lair. This happened a few days ago. Uh, they were wiped out to a man, as far as we can see. The bandit force were? Yes. Did they bear swords like this and I'll produce the one that we've taken from the Yobanjin? No. Uh, I've not seen a sword like that before. I take it that is one of the barbarian swords? Correct. Yes, my lord. I have not seen that one before. Neither had I. Hmm. Huh. I will leave it to the Bushi to see if they work out if there's any tricks to it. If not, then all we'll do, say, is uh, just so you are aware, the, there was an attack uh, on the lair as far as we can see, everybody um, was wiped up to a man. Well, why do you ask? It's you a... sounded concerned. <clears throat> yes, my lord. As, as you may remember, I have um, been honing my knowledge of divination. Um, and I was studying the sticks one morning as I have started to do and I had a feeling of home, of an enemy redeemed, of pain the smell of burnt flesh the gleam of a bone possibly that like the preserved skull of an enemy um, and it, it was something that will happen in the future and I felt the need to return here 
So something, an enemy redeemed. So Tom, with that, um, did that feel personal or did that feel clan when I did it? Did it? Um, with that twenty-two, I'm not going to give you it. Give it to you. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, so, I will. Uh, that is the question I. So, so I am now. Um, the question I'm trying to determine is: Is the feeling of home? We rushed back here because this is now my home. But an enemy redeemed. Is that something connected to my family, my former family in the crane? But um, that is something that uh, I am pondering on now yes um one thing i uh, i'm gutted about because uh, i haven't transferred that bit over i have now can't find the charger for my old computer because a lot of the stuff i had on one note i haven't been able to transfer however i do remember that heiji you had a um a prophecy that I gave you. Do you still have access to that? Um, yeah. Probably not. Okay. <laughs> I'll put it in the information section. Nope. I don't nope. I've got the mechanical effect of the the benefit in there, but I don't think Yeah. I've got anything about what you sent me on it. Sorry. No, it's just something about the black hair. Um I remember that much. Okay. I'm gonna have to I have to try and find a new uh charger because I don't know where my flaming charger's gone for it. How did you send it to me? Was it a message or an email or um i believe it was a message so that could be months ago then now uh, or even years <laughs> you never know um i thought like i say it's on my okay. other computer which is really annoying all right uh, i'll have a look Go on, can you continue and i'll see if i can find anything yeah no worries um with you uh all back at um all back at home with this this knowledge that you've got of this um, this divination that Sakhiro did. Is there anything you want to do in regards to that, or is there anything you want to do? Um, well, uh, in general, I mean, this any, this is an, the end of spring. It is the month of uh, the serpent, so. An enemy redeemed makes me instantly think um, uh, if it's not if it's related to the boar rather than my personal uh, original family, then it, what happened with that member of the, the the guy who was staying who was trying to write a letter to the mantis the mantis guy that's it yeah that was our next um, issue to deal with I think after we'd come back. Um, on my list of things, so yeah, you hadn't actually done anything um, as yet about it. No, all that we'd done is prohibited him, although uh, in a subtle way that he doesn't realise yet, uh, from taking the stone's oath. Um, and I believe it was Akihiro's suggestion that we force him into um, essentially. Uh, Leave it it's retrospective, so if he's done something already, yeah, then yeah, he may it, not take the fight of the oath. Yeah. Yeah. Was it like so, um, placing blame on himself? I can't think of yeah. the word, but you know what I mean. Implicate, um, implicate, implicate the, yeah. Um, I, think, I think that needs to be resolved sooner rather than later. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, that might be the so, first. Takahiro, you definitely want this resolved sooner than later because he is the person who is. Um, 
your rival for the Jomo's daughter. Yes, I'm looking for an opportunity to challenge him to a duel. Yep. You might not need to if he turns to stone. <laughs> That's if he's. Uh, I mean, again, if we if we can. Uh... Yeah, if... make it seem like it is uh, retro retrospective. But he didn't succeed, did he? Because we, you intercepted the spell, the letter he wrote, didn't you? Oh yeah, no, the letter didn't go off, but he doesn't know that, and he'll we, be expecting we, we... a reply any any day now, I imagine. Zhao, Zhao fans non-existent spy network. Uh, what spy? No, spy? Spies don't exist. Spies? No. Yeah, yes, silly. <laughs> that would not be honourable. That would not be honourable. How dare you cast aspersions? Anyway, I must speak with you. I must speak with Zalfan's husband. <laughs> he doesn't know anything. No, no, no. He, he he's even more clueless than I am. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I don't think we're married yet, are we? Yeah. You got married, are yeah. We, are we? Oh, yeah, yeah, you, no. yeah. You got married. Oh, there you go. Well, see you how important it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got yeah. weeks since we played this game. Weeks. Yeah, it has been weeks actually. Yeah, this um, is you don't love him. <laughs> it's true. He's a fictional person. <laughs> just so, can't just can't bring myself to do it. Is there a history role that we can make regarding the the what uh, Takahashi's Takahiro, sorry, has told us about his vision? Like, is there any way? I mean, I've got theology, law theology. I don't think that would help too much. But can we make a blank law roll just on general history? Um, or if anybody's trained in history, maybe. I think I'm trained in history, but I, 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 I I'm not entirely someone. convinced that um, what what it's got to do with history. I think it's something coming up. Yeah, but like the 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 redeemed enemy part. I'm like, well. Who's who's an enemy? Like, what would stand out yeah. as sort of like an enemy that we could focus on, Tom, apart think, from maybe uh, this mantis? I think I think um, actually what I will be doing is more divination on that specific area, trying to figure out who this enemy redeemed is. Yeah. Okay. Because that that appears to be the key directional element. Sure. Um, ha, um, is there a way of giving myself any additional bonus on a divination check? Spend void points to roll and keep extra dice. What is um, how, how divination long... under? Intelligence. Um, how frequently do void points return? Uh, next day. You, uh, if it's, you're it's, talking it's... about this... Yeah. Takahashi can help with, uh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm, discuss I'm discussing with. this. Yeah, um, so the the several ways of regaining void points is like tea ceremonies, meditation, and also sleep as well. But I can also... Because um, I've got tea ceremony. Yeah. Help you with the water calm you can clear your mind. Okay. Yeah, I was... Can you both do that? It won't uh... stack. Here, I think I, yeah, okay. I, I don't know actually because I, I think that your so yours is water, I think mine is air. So no, I'm like... talking about a fire, actually, not the water one because that was me confusing. Go, this is a fire one. Oh, mine's definitely not fire. Um, oh no, it's water. Sorry, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> too many spells. Air, water, fire, 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 fire. 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 speed. Yeah, any chance, any changes going once? Hang on. Hang on. That's fire. Mental quickness. Okay. So, what is mental quick? If you cast mental quickness, what's that give me? I it, it doesn't give you anything. I imbue one object uh, for ten minutes, and it you get uh, your in, in intelligence trait raised by three for the duration of the spell. Nice. My intelligence ten minutes trait. Your yeah. intelligence trait, which you use for divination. Yeah. Will get raised by three. So for my the intelligence is three, and it becomes six. Yeah, yeah, for ten minutes. Jesus Christ, that's powerful. Yeah, yeah. that's not a high level so spell good. either. Sorry, mine's um, 
Mine's no good. Mine is for physical stats only. Okay. Looks like. Okay. So if I if I add three roll and three keep to my divination temporarily, yeah. Yes, because you use um, ring plus. Um... So yeah. stats plus skill, keeping stat. Yep. So I'm adding if, if, if stats going up. So I'm adding three, yeah. three roll, three keep, and yeah. then if I put two void points in, you roll and keep an extra two die. I roll and keep an extra tie. So that's oh my God. die per void point. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I roll this as trained. Just for reference, yeah. I've been checking through my notes. Yeah. Um, uh, from some of the things I was looking at the stars to divinate stuff before, but okay. No, but I've put my my divination skill is I, mean, I put I put a rank up, so it's actually now it's now rank three. And yeah. Quite, so I I like quite like the idea of it. Can you can you use different media to? Oh yeah. So I think sometimes in the morning I look at the sticks, and at night I look at the stars. Yeah. So I'm going absolutely. To some, some time to look at the stars. Okay. And this is so. I'm now rolling. What's this? It's a lot. Yeah, but you didn't tell me if you put any weight raises into it. I didn't. Last time it was just a target number. Okay, that's true. But you know, if you put raises into it, that would have given you a higher target number, and you get more information. Oh. Right. So it's up to you. It's up to you if you want to roll well, it again or if you want to last, keep it. Last, time, last time it was all about the target number. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. So, but this time, because you're spending more time and you're focusing on it, because okay. you can what dive I, into it. What, what like, do I get with step. a 65 with no additional raises put in? Okay. Ooh, okay. So, you get a name. What's the name? Okay. Ugon. Ugon. U G O N. Ugon. Yeah. O U G O N. O U G O N. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. So I stare at the stars. You. And are, I just... You are. There's, there's more. Okay. Don't worry. There's more. Okay. Ugon. You get uh, the feeling of greed. You get the feeling of revenge. But then you also get the feeling of fear. And that smell that you had before comes in again and he's fighting off this smell and you also see a robe hooded robe and as the arm was raised up there is um, no hand it's just a empty robe uh, uh, there's just the sleeves hanging down but he's raised up there's a couple of drips of blood the uh, fall down, and you see a hand break through the ground. But when you think of Ugon, you actually uh, get the smell of um, of leather. You get the smell of wood smoke. You get the smell of um, of metal polish. You don't get the smell of blood. And you get the feeling that Ugon is an enemy, but he will become redeemed when this other, this hooded person is revealed. So Ugon is not the hooded person? No. Nope. Well, okay. Who uh, I shall ask if anyone knows the name 
uh, Ugon. And I shall include um, Hajikoki in that as well. Uh, is it just you six plus Choka you're asking? Um, I don't, is there anyone else besides... I mean, all the other members of the board are basically um, Bushi, aren't they? There's no, one, there's no one actually particularly learned, is there? Uh, no, the other uh, the other ones that you um, you recruited were pretty much they were all bushy of some uh, of some yeah. regard, apart from brother, brother Saban, who is he is a a so high, he's a warrior monk. Some of the others have actually, you know, they've come from uh, like the Dragonfly Clan, which is the twins, Sineo and uh, Tatsuo, uh, T uh, Tatsu. Tadasu. Yeah, that's one. Um, Maro, uh, for example, used to be, a, even though they are a, uh, they are a Bushi, they uh, were of the Scorpion Clan. Yeah, okay. To be honest, for the moment, us lot plus Hoshichoki, and then if that doesn't produce anything, might well consult with them. Someone occurs to me, actually, as well as um, some of the people who came with us, actually, um, the Joe Mai might be an interesting person to consult because he may have more knowledge of the immediate area. Okay. Um, None of you have I've heard this name before. None of the six of you and Cho and uh, Chokai has not heard this name before. Um, what scream? Did we did we just hear a scream? We haven't heard a scream, have we? A scream? A scream? Yeah. Where did you get a scream from? Well, that that's what you just said, or have I just imagined something? No, no, no. You mis misheard. No, nobody's heard of the name. Oh, okay. You and you know, no, no, none of the six of you or Chokai have heard of the name Ugon. Um, how widely do we want this um, name spread to find out the information? Um. Well, let me focus the following day on the name uh, Ugon and see what I may learn from that. It occurs to me that if it's an enemy returning to this area, we're we're here only lately. Could it be an enemy of the of the hidden boar? Yeah. And therefore, the day mean more to them than us. That's what I said. The the, the only other person it occurred to me to talk Sorry, to I was, was was there was Joe Mai. No, I agree. Yeah. That's exactly my thought process. Yeah. Um, how um, how well, how far is it? Sorry, between where we are and the where the hidden boar are. Is it like popping over the road, or is it a several? No, days? it's 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 like a. You can get there from. Um, if you travel hard and fast in an entire day, okay. Um, because you have to swing down and then go go up. Um, you can do it if you push a um, a horse hard. Um, otherwise, it'll take you two days. Okay. Um. Uh, if we wait to the following day. Because this was done at, uh, in the evening, looking at the stars. So the next day after resting, can I um, uh, attempt again? And um, Takahashi, can you um, enhance me again? Do we want to do that whilst we're moving? Even if, uh, like, it takes us two days to get there. So you can meditate. Like, can you meditate in the morning whilst we're on the road? Uh yeah, you've done it in the past. When you were travelling from uh, the Crane Lands over to the Ball Lands, you, you were doing it. It will take me a matter of minutes to look at the sticks. It just doesn't take me hours. Well, uh, yeah, I I thought you were saying we we should wait another day for you no, to do no, your no, meditation. No, 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 no. Um, uh, just by resting the night, I get 
mechanically resting the knight to get my void points back, I think. Yeah. And assuming that um, uh, Takahashi is happy to... Oh, that I'm image. more than happy to entreat the Kami to right. um, bless another item or the same item. Right. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I didn't actually get you to roll the die for the last I'm one. Happy actually, to roll. Yeah. yeah, I did wonder. I completely missed that. I thought you had. I was looking at the wrong wrong piece part of it. <laughs> Just don't cock it up. Actually, I would say the the one yesterday you did it. Uh, that's fine. It's just this one you'll you'll be making a roll for. Yeah, that's my mistake. Uh, there's no. Yeah, yeah absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, you can roll that again if you wish. It, okay, this time before you roll, okay, are you putting any raises in? Yes, I'm going to put some raises. Okay, I'm what do focus, you want the raises? I'm going to focus on the name Ugon. Yep. And I am going to put right. So each raise is effectively making the target number five higher, but I don't actually know what the target number is. Correct. So I'm actually roll. I'm rolling ten, keep eight. So I think I'm going yes, to put did. four. You can only put maximum two raises. In. Well, it's the maximum of your void in as raises. Oh, okay. So I will put two raises in then. Yeah. Okay. Is it, is it dictate, it's dictated by my void, not my intelligence. Either. Okay. Yeah, it's dictated by void. Yeah. Okay. So I'll put two raises in there, please. Yeah. So I still roll as normal, but just the target number is ten higher. Correct. Yes. So you just roll as normal, and I've got it. I've got it all up here. Uh, forty-six. Only forty-six. Okay. So you putting you're focusing more on the name uh, Ugon. Yeah. Yeah. And you get back two things. You get black hair, and you also get the name. Let's get this right. Hang on. This is a Motofusa. Can you spell that, please? M O T O. F U S A. Now, this is a name that you know. In fact, when you mention it to uh, everyone else, everyone knows this name. Yeah. Motofusa is one of the uh, people that has been brought into the clan uh, by Chokai. He's one of the older Ronin. And I will just show the picture to you. There you go. Has that come up? Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. Yep. Hang on a sec. Yep. So, is he on the new Boar Clan list then? Uh, Boar, Boar Clan personalities. He sh- um, should be. I he's don't know if I've got him on the list or he's not. He's not on the. Yeah. He's not on the little scroll the thing. Movie. Right. No. I know. So, um, is he not on the scroll? He is. is he on the scroll? Is he? Boar Clan personalities. He's one, two, three, five from the bottom. Oh, oh, the scroll. Sorry, I thought you meant scrolling. <laughs> scrolling this. Uh, the, the yeah, Motofusa um, was. Uh, let me get you the thing up. Hang on, I've got this. guests of the Boar Clan. There's, there's a whole, oh, there's a whole section called Boar Clan personalities, and he's in there. Yeah, he's in there. Uh, oh, oh, he's a, a, like no. an actual. No, I've got, I've opened up oh, Mombosu. It's Motofusu. Okay, Motofusa, uh, originally a peasant woodsman, forced into mil- military service by the Crane uh, for one of their many wars. He so he became an Ashigaru and rose through the ranks to Gunso, which is the equivalent of sergeant. After the war was over, Motofusa didn't want to return to being a peasant, so he became a mercenary. Um, you, are, you are, as the group, offered him a place um, in the clan. And his primary weapon is an Ono. Which is a battle axe. Oh no. Oh no. I'll have to change that picture over, that's fine. I think I'd say oh no if I saw a battle axe. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm-hmm. 
uh, I think. Um, uh, all right. Is the situation, is it just the six of us or are we still with Heike, uh, Heike Choki? Uh, you were on the way to uh, speak to the Jomo. Jomai. Jomai. Right. Um, what, Jomai? Where? Who? Well, this it, basically, I think during one of our one of our breaks to let Takahashi eat something, um, uh, I, I've oh. cast the sticks and studied them. And mm-hmm. um, uh, I shall just turn to the others and say, um, where is Motofusa? I feel his name is connected to um, uh, Oyugun. Ugo. Ugo. Who are gone? Yeah. Um, I think should we should we return and speak to Motofusu first? Um, can everyone give give me a straight raw intelligence roll? Mm, raw intelligence. Twenty six. Not pleased with that. Yeah. 21, oh. 17, 26, 21, AG 15. Still good numbers. Just waiting for the Tarus to come in. You're muted if you're trying to talk to us, Carl. Oh, no. no, if you're talking, we you still can't hear been, you, boss. Do, do you reckon he's been trying to talk to us all night and we've just been <laughs> just blanking him? He's realised that yeah. we haven't heard a like, word he said all night. Yeah, yeah, just fuck yeah. this guy. <laughs> no, he did say earlier that he who, who was shooting. Oh, my God, my bloody... F- shooting I've got purple you, again. You've got, yeah, you've, uh, you've been going in and out of fucking yeah. colours all night. You change, yeah, like Rainbow, Rainbow Man. Yeah. Hi. I'm quite happy to be a rainbow. Well, I'll have to rename you. There Joseph you go. And your Technicolor webcam. Yeah. Then I'm back to normal again. Might no, move along. Really it's, going, it's going more and more yellow. Oh, um, oh yeah. good grief. Yeah, this is... Kyle, have you got yeah. your microphone working? No, he's not. No. 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 <laughs> 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 I, I can read his facial expression. He's like, fuck this. Yeah. Um... Each of you, you should just translate for him all the time. <laughs> Go on, yeah. Kyle. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Each of you know that um, he had chosen to stay. Um, he he felt that his skills were better suited staying at the lair. Um, because he used to be the woodsman, um, he stayed at the lair to. Because that's the nearest source of um, of trees and timber to help rebuild because of his skills. Um, so you're all aware that he uh, is staying in in the valley of uh, the boar's lair, so he can uh, go and help fell lumber. See, we're on the right track. We also need to deal with uh, Miramo Ichigo, so. Okay, so I think um, yes, we shall continue on that way then. Who's Miramo? Is that the one that we uh, the up? The Mantis, yeah. yeah. And he's uh, he's in the hidden lair, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And that's where that's where we're there. heading. Yeah. we're heading to the hidden lair. Yeah. yeah. So we can two two resolve two things at one in one journey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You're a Tomo Ichiko. So, the uh, fact that that's a good place to leave it is now 10 to 11. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, we can have if, the. Before we, uh, oh, yeah. before we leave it, uh, on the basis that you might be giving us some experience points after this, yeah. um, I just want to say that the, pretty much since we've been with the, uh, the Village of Broken Dreams and since then, um, Akihiro has been spending a lot of time when he gets a chance meditating yeah. uh, and understanding that actually he's, he's starting to see that the path that um, those the souls in the 
in that village are taken is, is, is very akin to the path of man. He sees the element of earth in them where they're, they're, they're putting away fear and showing bravery in, in front of certain death. Um, he sees the element of water in them where they ignore the lies of the, of the Shadowlands. And again, with their brave actions, yeah. they deny those lies. Yep. Yeah. Is this is what this... you're saying to uh, everybody else? Um, does he have to? In as much as this is his internal thoughts. He's, yeah, okay. What, what, what's essentially I'm doing here is trying to build up a justification for putting my void up. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> That's the problem. And he sees the element of fire um, in them, that they show no shame for their predicament. Um, and they show great dignity in the way they, they deal with that. Um, he saw no hate amongst them, apart from their enemies. And they showed great compassion for those who wanted to join, who, who were in their same predicament. Mm -hmm. He feels that perhaps where they're, they're, they're missing in that path to enlightenment is the fact that they show too much attachment to one another. And perhaps that is what's blocking them. If they could learn to become detached and, and an individual, so rather than relying on their brothers, understanding their own personal goal and attuning themselves to that goal, they may find them enlightenment. And what uh, Akihiro takes from that is perhaps he needs to take an element of their, of their learning and their experience himself and their end if his attempts to yeah. get another void point. Yeah. Um, do you know what? I was actually, I'm quite happy with that justification. I'm very happy with that justification, actually. Um, no, it's, it's give me two experience points. Yeah. Two? Is that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> to be honest, yeah, two experience points is absolutely fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because that, that's the other thing that's on the other computer is the actual XP records. Because this is a game that the XP is important because uh, for people who haven't played Five Rings before who may be watching, everybody can spend their experience on whatever they want. But that also means that sometimes that some of the players that have got more knowledge in their school techniques than others. So it's even though I give the same amount of XP out to everybody, they could be different power levels. And that is a design mechanic to give freedom to the players of how they want their character to develop. Mm. Yep. So in this regard, I think that that's a very good ju justification. Um, and yes, yeah. everyone's going to be getting two XP tonight. Um, so I'll go go back to what you're, am I saying this out loud? If anyone ever asks or challenges Akihiro about what he thinks or what is he would actually have told them, that's what he felt. Is actually seeing some of what's going on and realizing he needs to be perhaps a little bit more outward going with his beliefs. Yep. Come hell on my water. Does Ian get for not being, <laughs> for, being, for, being so a, for being a heretic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It depends what he does with it, isn't it? Now, points that to it. What does that give us? A total experience. Experience. What's everybody's total, total experience? Well, it depends what you spend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That app was also, um, if you remember, if you were, um, I used to give, if you weren't at a session, you would get half the experience of everybody else, so you still uh, get something. Yeah. So, um, that's why I need to find a power cable for my other yeah. computer to get all of the notes back up. And mm. you see, this is yes. why we this is why we needed to play while Ian was away on holiday, so we could catch. Because <laughs> yeah, Ian is basically that's not ever you missed a session. You can't play me. No, no, no. We, I mean, you yeah, set up the opportunity for us to catch up, but yeah, yeah. But, but we couldn't manage to play. Yeah. So that's the other way you could uh, get, get a higher experience. You're gonna everybody's gonna get two experience tonight. How yes. do you um? How do you uh, get a, an ability from three to four. Is that twelve XP? Uh, is it ability? Uh, so yes, it's uh, three times next. Three times next. Do you level? mean skill, or do you mean uh, stats? I want to. I want to stat. Stat. It's uh, four times next, next level, I believe. Yes. So three to four would be twelve XP, right? No, sixteen. Sixteen. 16. 16. Yeah. Okay. What you going to? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I, I have a couple. You couldn't of... ask for more XP, could you, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> So I've, got exactly, I've got exactly what I need, so I've put my void oh, up, by, up to three, which void, is 18, I believe. Void, yeah, it's yeah. void six times where you're going. Six, yeah, yeah. yeah. Six times, yeah. Void is a lot more expensive because you can do a lot more stuff. So, Should we leave it there for the night, though? Yes, I just want to say um, you've got... It's a good place to stop because it's you've got... To deal with... Uh, the Yoritomo Ishiko issue, which is the love rival and potential rats in the Boar's Lair. Um, you've got to deal with, uh, speak to Mosfusu to find, find out what he needs to know about Ogon and find out more about Ogon as well. So, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, thank and you very much, folks. Fox lands. Oh, we can speak. Oh, yes. So yes, what about Fox Lands? It's your voice again. I was trying to say that earlier. I didn't make a signal right at the end. What, yeah. I just thought you guys were ignoring me, so I gave up. No, 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 no we, honestly, we, yeah, we honestly we, couldn't not we hear couldn't you. Hear. What were you trying to say yeah. at Fox Lands then? Oh. Yeah. We've got the um, potential corruption in the Fox Lands that we want to look oh, into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Your girlfriend's yeah. dead. But for no yeah. other reason, just corruption. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely no other reason no yeah absolutely yeah. No, no, no okay okay folks so um thank you very much wait are we still recording Turn yeah it off. we're still recording yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thank you very much for everybody um we shall see you whenever we actually manage to get around to doing another one of these <laughs> hopefully next, next week. week yes thank you in the country yeah. bye bye bye, bye. 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 bye.